Hello guys, as I, may, uh, as I promised, I'm doing video on the rear Honda Elysian, uh, Honda Elysian rear brake pods. Uh, as you can see now, we are looking at the exploded uh, rear brake uh, set, exploded image. If I choose number two, we get a rear brake pod part number and then I'll copy and if I go now into uh, to eBay copy this number look for it and there's no results for as you look at that number but as you can see now it's 36 pounds and 3 pence obviously it's uh, plus postage is 50 pounds and 40 pence uh, in total uh, is blueprint brake pads from uh, Germany and I actually have set uh, already uh, bought from Singapore I'll show you uh, as you can see in this uh, in this one it, it's coming from uh, Germany and if you click uh, click on I'm not sure blueprint as I've seen before. Some guys they say, "Oh, yeah, it's it's good, uh, good break this." Some some of them they say it's like not very good. So I don't know. Never use them. I can't promise. But as you can see here, there will be part numbers, and as you can see on this one in particular, it's zero six four three zero S F E J zero zero. That these numbers are. Uh, Honda part number, so they will fit for the for the Honda Elysian. Not only for the Honda Elysian, there will be some uh, some other makes as well. And uh, okay, so what we do now is uh, you scroll again, blueprint, blueprint, brake part set, and again, if you look at them once. Well, it's like 14 or just nearly 14 pounds. Like, oh, yeah, maybe these ones, but they are not. And uh, they are for like Honda Accords and the brake parts. And you can see in this image, they are completely different ones. So what we do now is I'll go to, and I uh, by accident, I found this company and where I bought them from. So, if you be looking now at the, the brake parts, the image of the brake parts for the Honda Leasiness, all uh, thickness, width, and everything, and the uh, makers who makes them, uh, Akebono, Asuki, Bendix, FBL, Hino, Hitachi, Honda. And as you can see, all the Honda part numbers, actually the same, the same parts, but they are, I think, for the different models. So as you can see on now, have Honda Lision, Honda Legrate, Honda Odyssey, Step Wagon, and Stream, uh, and Honda Vessel. I think some some parts will be, uh, some Hondas will be for American. Uh, some Hondas are coming from Japan. So which one is Honda Lision is first one. So uh, not in this. I'll move that one. Okay, Honda Lision. Now we are looking. At the Honda Elysian, and as you can see from 2004 up to 2012 or even 13, uh, chassis numbers is RR1 up to RR6. They all have the same uh, uh, brake parts. Front ones, it's like front rotors. There's no part number for that, so they don't they don't make front brakes. Uh, I don't need to wor uh, worry about them because I already have from UK rear rotors, rear brakes. As you can see, that part number PN8506, it's uh, what we are looking at. Brake shoe, it's uh, as you can see uh, for the uh, for the foot brake. Okay, if I press this number, still is the same as you can see again. So what I'll do now, I will copy this part number. I'll go to, just say for example, eBay. 
search. And it will come up with the blueprint. Okay, 15 pounds, 24 days, item description. Nice pass. Okay, where that's coming from? Kent, UK. Okay, it's blueprint. So as you can see, you can buy from eBay. But if I do other way, if I if I go and uh, copy this part number, copy as I showed showed you before, there was no chance to get them. Well, as you can see. It's from Germany, not in UK. But other numbers came up from UK, so it's quite strange. Where I bought them from, it was Amazon. So what they've done was, as you can see, as you're looking at this picture, uh, I, I will delete that one, I'll put this one in. Search, and they come up, they're coming up as these brake pads. So actually I have them. And I probably will be in, uh, replacing them today, hopefully later today. As you can see in this picture, they are ceramic, noise-free, dustless, all that stuff. And as you can see in this picture, brake parts came with the shims and a little bit, a little bit grease pack, so that's good. And uh, NIBK PN. Five uh, eight five zero six. So these ones I bought. But if you look at there, uh, at uh, supplier first, I didn't realize that was from um, and, uh, uh, from Singapore. As you can see, all pa Honda part numbers. And eventually, I went somewhere. Buying options. Fin parts, fitting. Dispatch from Singapore. Okay, so they've been uh, uh, they dispatched uh, with the um, uh, UPS. And it arrived very quickly, I would say like only a couple of days and I had it, but I only collected on Friday. I had an issues with the invoice because they've charged me uh, with these parts, as you can see here, it's like 26, it was 27 pounds, is that? Yeah. Post and package was... Uh, me a second okay 27 pounds and 10p with the part but i had to pay because when you import anything when you buy anything from abroad even from germany or whatever you have to pay vat on top what you pay already paid for the part and delivery and then you have to pay 10 there will be 20 percent vat and 10 and then uh, you'll pay 10 pounds uh, sorry 10 percent uh, import duty on top so uh, so it should be in with everything's like six pounds 67 pence but what's happened was they uh, they messed up i found the uh, uh, i called ups and i said what's going on blah 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 and they wanted to charge me 30 pounds and 72 pence and um, import duties and vats and everything included it was 19 pounds 47 pounds so what's happening here apparently someone's from someone from ups what they've done was they put uh around 60 pounds uh delivery charge or something like that you know he explained me some this and it it came up like with some nonsense you know it's like obviously it's nothing to do with amazon something to do with the ups but you need to be aware of you know extra charges like you know vat and import duty so they amended this one and they've changed to six pounds sixty seven. So I have to pay this one. And, but there will there was another eleven pounds and twenty five pence for freight charges. 
brokerage charge, something like that. You know, I'm not sure what that is, but because they messed up, they said we're not gonna charge you the, that 11 pounds. So I was quite ha happy with this. So, uh, okay, now a little bit uh, short story about my uh, purchase. So, uh, as you can see here, I bought them. Uh, it's 27 pounds and 10p plus another six just say seven pounds in total is like uh, 34 pounds so it's not not that bad uh, when you keep in mind it's you can't get you know from from euro car parts obviously they i spoke with one guy he he, he owns uh, honda elysion prestige and he said you could get from uh, uh euro car parts but i guess what they would do they will call uh honda dealer or maybe their own suppliers you know they will get it but it will take a bit longer or something like that i'm not sure what price would be but next my my goal will be is uh i will call uh i will email honda uh honda dealer and i'll ask for 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 no, I'll give I'll supply all part numbers and everything for the brake parts, brake discs, and I'll ask you know how much is this and that. You know, I'll I'll show you in the later videos. So hopefully this this one will help you, uh, unless uh, if you don't want to have any headache or something like that. You know, you just go to Honda say uh, Honda dealer say there's this and that. You know, can you supply this? No matter whatever. Uh, no machine uh, sorry money no is no issue so you can easily get this sorted so for me i'll try always i'll try something else you know do myself you know not just to go to honda dealers because it's uh, japanese import not all parts are available so they have to uh, they have to uh, order some some of them i think for the russian guys who, who lives in russia because they 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 import uh, so many so many cars like that from Japan and Georgia and some some other regions as well for them it will be easier because they will get big uh, I think wider range because the uh, some cars you know I hope you know they they are sold and made you know in in, in their countries whereas in UK it's limited limited amount you know uh, uh, dealer don't uh, don't import some cars you know from and i think from like 2005 or 2004 they stopped importing some cars at all like seven seats is you now for people carriers okay hopefully this video sum up uh, sums up for you guys you know what to do and how to do and uh, this helps you so if any questions please let me know and uh, hopefully i'll see you next time okay cheers guys bye